In this video, we'll be providing you with an overview of Jakarta RESTful Web Services. Jakarta REST is the solution for the development of building representational state transfer web services on the Jakarta EE platform. The specification is easy to learn and it enables one to construct powerful REST APIs and also includes APIs for working with web services as a client. As such, this specification is key to the development of microservices and cloud-based applications. Using the API, a web service can be developed by placing just a few annotations on a plain old Java object, also known as a POJO. The API includes annotations for performing many tasks, such as producing REST responses in specified formats, consuming data, and performing standard data operations such as create, read, update, and delete. The specification also includes advanced features for the development of robust REST APIs. Jakarta RESTful Web Services is a part of the Jakarta EE platform, Jakarta EE Web Profile, and Jakarta EE Core Profile without any extra dependencies. To create a basic web service resource class, only the at path and at get annotations are needed. The at path annotation can be placed on any Java class that will be a REST resource class and it is used to specify the URI path that should be used to access the endpoint. The at get annotation should be applied to a method to indicate that it must be called upon with a HTTP get call. When the URI to the service is visited, the message output from the resource method will be displayed. The resource method can optionally include an at path annotation, specifying a custom path for accessing the endpoint. If more than one method annotated with at get is specified within the same resource class, then one of them must specify a string based path in order to differentiate the two. Oftentimes, a return type of jakarta.ws.rs dot core dot response is returned from a resource method as it enables an HTTP response to be returned to the caller, indicating success or failure of a service call. Although an HTTP response can be nice to receive, it is possible to return different types of data from a web service such as plain text or JSON. By default, Jakarta REST will negotiate with the client to determine the type of data to return. However, in some cases, it may be suitable to explicitly specify the type being consumed by the service by applying the at consumes annotation and passing jakarta.ws.rs.core.mediatype. There are various ways to pass parameters to a web service resource. They differ in the way that they are passed via the URI. A path parameter can be specified within the at path by enclosing the parameter name within curly braces. If a parameter is passed in this manner, then it must be explicitly specified within the web service resource method signature by specifying the at path param annotation along with the string based variable name. A web service resource method can accept zero or more parameters in this manner. A query parameter can also be passed via the URI by adding a question mark character at the end of the URI and explicitly delimiting each parameter with an ampersand character. Query parameters are specified in the format parameter underscore name equals parameter underscore value. In this way, the at path designation does not contain any variables, but the web service resource method must contain each query parameter by specifying the at query param annotation and providing the name of the query parameter. Oftentimes, web forms contain a large number of fields that need to be submitted for processing. The values from these fields could be passed to a web service resource using an HTML form and corresponding at form param parameters within the web service resource method definition by use of the at form param annotation. 
The at form param annotation works very similarly to the at query param, except that it reads the parameters submitted via an HTML form. As you can see, Jakarta REST provides an easy to use API for developing RESTful web services for Jakarta EE. REST can be configured by adding an application class and specifying a root path which can be used to access web service resources. The at path annotation can be placed on a class and a method to designate it as a Jakarta REST resource. And methods annotated with at get, at post, or other HTTP request types can be used to create web service resources. And finally, web services can be used to produce or consume data. There is a full featured client API available with Jakarta REST, as well as advanced features such as asynchronous invocation and server sent events. For more information about Jakarta RESTful web services, please visit our website.